Good day YouTube, this is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. I uh, had a request to do a video on this one. I had heard the name, seen the ticker before, but didn't put uh, two and two together. And um, so here we are putting two and two together. So, um, but this is a Metis, ticker AMTX. And you can kind of see what it's done here over the uh, last month. It's kind of trading kind of flat, $2, 250 uh, kind of increasing up to the three dollar range in the past three months and then it just started taking off here about mid-january and it's been trading kind of flat um, since then uh, if you don't know what this one is it operates on as a renewable fuel and biochemicals company the firm focuses on the acquisition development and commercialization of technologies that replace traditional petroleum based products by the conversion of ethanol and biodiesel plants into biorefineries. It operates through the North America and India segments. The North American segment compromises the Keys plant in California. And I'll let you pause and uh, read the rest there for yourself. It's uh, been around since 2005. Kind of a small market cap, uh, 205 million. And there's a quick uh, shot of their earnings expected um, pre-market on March 11th so they're coming up and I don't currently have any of this one of course because uh, I just kind of heard about it um, but it's got me um, kind of looking at it now so here's their actual website uh, some of the products that they're in renewable fuels biochemicals food and feed and again it's headquartered in Cupertino California and I already went over some of this and uh, feel free to uh, pause and uh, read the article there for yourself or else you can just go to uh, www.ametis.com they got a couple uh, YouTube videos on here uh, this is the shortest one it kind of goes over um, when I play a video on top of Mike and my video the audio never comes through for uh, some reason so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, skip that but um, uh, here's some of the uh, top institutional investors uh, Re Renaissance, Vanguard Group, CIBC, Bridgeway Capital. And here's just a different look uh, in regards to uh, what they've done here in the uh, last week. I can see a lot of volume kicking in here. And then it's just been kind of on a staircase up since uh, Friday. So. And then I come across this article. I met a CEO, Eric uh, McAfee, to present at the Credit Suisse Virtual Energy Summit on March 1 through the 3rd of this year. So just right around the corner. One hour presentation to institutional investors and Q&A from Credit, Credit Suisse Analysis. Announced today that Chairman CEO will make a one hour presentation and also attend a one on one meeting with institutional investors at the Credit Suisse 2020. Uh, the presentation will include a question and answer session with a Credit Suisse renewable energy stock analysis fo focused on carbon negative renewable natural gas, renewable jet, diesel fuel, and other below zero carbon projects that Ametis is undertaking to maximize the value of the California low carbon fuel standard and federal renewable fuel standard. McAfee's presentation will feature the Ametis Central Dairy Biogas Project and the Ametis Carbon Zero One Renewable Jet and Diesel Plant. The presentation will be posted on the investors section of Ametis website and there's the um, link that you can go to again this is found in uh, yahoo uh, finance um, feel free to uh, pause the video and read the rest there for yourself uh, but this kind of goes over a little bit more about uh, metis uh, has launched a carbon zero production process to decarbonize the transportation sector using today's infrastructure a metis carbon zero products include zero carbon fuels that can immediately drop in 
to be used in an airplane, truck, and ship fleets. Ametis low carbon fuels have substantially reduced carbon intensity compared to standard petroleum fossil based fuels across their life cycle. And again, headquartered in Cupertino, California. And feel free to uh, pause and read the rest there for yourself. Uh, back to uh, Reddit, there's um, a couple people talking about it here in the last uh, couple days, last week. Uh, carbon zero, solar energy, and energy efficiency upgrades. And since some of this talk of they've went up, uh, they've went up quite a bit here in the last couple days. Uh, this is back to uh, Stock Twits. Um, I've started using these two resources since um, everybody was on uh, GameStop and some of the other stocks a while back. Uh, but there's quite a bit of talk about it here. Um, missed the explosion. Congrats to y'all who hit it. If you have this one, uh, it'd be interesting to put in the comments what your cost basis is and how many shares you have. And also, if you haven't hit that like button, if you could go ahead and hit that for me, as well as uh, uh, subscribing, and uh, that would really help out the uh, channel. Uh, Trump 2024, there you go. <laughs> um, but from what I can see here on uh, Stock Twits, everybody's uh, bullish on it. Um, I just started researching this one and um, once I found out what they were into it um, interested me more so um, there was uh, some people talking about this one uh, fuel cell and um, Jivo maybe don't quote me on that one they saw somewhere in here on a comment um, yeah right here uh, Jivo And that's sometimes what I do uh, when you have two different stocks. They're too similar. They're both good. Uh, you both uh, can see the potential in both of them. Uh, just like this person says here, can't even decide which one is better, just holding both. Uh, so I could say that about uh, plug power and fuel cell. Uh, you don't really know which one to go with, uh, so you usually go with both. It's kind of like uh, um, AT&T and Verizon or... Um, Burger King and McDonald's however you want to put it so sometimes you don't know which one so you just throw a little bit at uh, both of them so uh, this is back to a uh, tip ranks uh, right now it's at 921 and this is showing a moderate buy and this is almost um, doubling what it is now uh, probably what it was last week this price here of 15 would be uh, doubled um, but and that's the uh, low and the high. It's only on uh, one analyst. So sometimes they go by um, and sometimes they don't really give you too much to go by there. But um, if you bought this one right back in here, that would be nice to know. But uh, this is uh, one I'm going to be putting on my watch list and uh, see where it goes. Um, no dividend or anything on this one. So... And kind of a small market cap, but uh, definitely one to watch. Uh, if you have this one, go ahead and put it in the comments, and that would be interesting to know. And if you have any uh, similar to this, whether it be F-Cell or uh, Jivo, and um, we can all compare notes. And if you have any further information on this one, uh, that would be uh, interesting to know as well. But over the last three months, it's over uh, 300%. Uh, so something's going on with this one, and... Um, could be the blue wave, could be the Dems, um, could be all the uh, renewable fuels. Um, but uh, the last month and um, three months, it's had a pretty good run. So even today, it's up about 20%. So definitely one to watch. Uh, again, I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice. And uh, just bringing this one to your attention. Uh, thank you to the person that uh, brought it to my attention. I'm sure you're listening. Happy trading. Happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.